everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report, and I'm delighted to welcome Jim and Sasha Allen from The Voice to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Sasha and Jim, how are you doing? We're good. doing good. We're awesome. Nice to be here with you. Well, it's great to have you. And congratulations on moving on to the knockouts after your battle round, singing Stevie Wonder, Thanks. Sign Sealed and Delivered, I'm Yours. How were you feeling when you concluded your performance and stayed on Team Ariana? We were feeling really awesome. We felt like we nailed it and did everything that we wanted to do and we executed everything how we wanted to execute it. And we worked really hard on the performance uh, with Sophia and on stage. It felt like everything fell into place. So we were really happy with how it went and obviously very happy to stay on the show. Sasha, you learned to play guitar from your dad and Jim. He was just one of your many music students. You guys are also both songwriters, but I'd love to hear more about your musical background and when you began performing together. Well, uh, when I got Sasha his first guitar, um, it was like a little electric guitar in the shape of a clownfish. And he would be rocking out on that with his cousins. I'd come home and you know, he was teaching himself things very quickly. And then, you know, he, once he got a few chords, he taught himself how to play, really. I mean, I was there to help him if he had a question, but uh, it wasn't like he was taking formal lessons with me. But, you know, the piano, the guitar, these things are laying around. And that's kind of the fun yeah. part of having music in the family. And then we would start to play together at little parties and get togethers. And eventually at the local uh, picking and fiddling contest and some charity events locally. And um, when my record came out, um, it was very encouraging about one particular song. And he said, you should enter that in the John Lennon songwriting contest. And it won. And so we played live stream on the John Lennon songwriting contest together. And then shortly after that, saw the opportunity to do the voice. So we auditioned. Well, let's take it back to your blind audition of leaving on a jet plane and how Kelly turned first and then Ariana turned. Yet Sasha, you had drawn a picture of you and your dad with Blake. So I really would love to hear your strategy going in as compared to what happened in that moment after you finished your performance. Now I should add, I told him to draw the picture of Ariana and us. <laughs> and he said, no, Blake. Well, I just, I, we, going into it, we thought, you know, when obviously everybody thinks about like who is going to turn for them. And we thought that the most likely to turn for us based on our genre and playing leaving on a jet plane playing a john denver song um we thought it would be most likely that blake would turn for us and aside <laughs> from that i am a i love blake shelton i've always been a big blake shelton fan so i can also draw and so we thought this might be a cute little funny thing and maybe it'll help us out later in the show too even if he doesn't pick us ironically when blake finally did turn he said, what kind of style of music is this? You know, it's kind of <laughs> but of course there's folk music and, and not far from, from country Americana, yeah. but. But we, but yeah, I mean, he didn't turn, but I was still happy to give it to him because yeah. I am a big Blake Shelton fan. And we were totally happy that obviously that Kelly and Ariana turned around because they're both like incredible. And I, we did not, I did not expect Ariana to turn around. I, I think right. if I was going to expect two people, it would be maybe Kelly and Blake. So seeing Ariana turn was very exciting. Can I dispel one of the myths that has arisen? There's a few yes, people that see do. that interaction between us when the, the coaches, when Kelly turned around, God bless her, and then Ariana turned around. And because Kelly had said she had a, basically a folk trio on her team, we instantly, you know, had this ESP moment like, oh, that's a good, that's a good idea to stay off Kelly's team as much as we love all these coaches. And we just didn't, you know, we love Ariana Grande, but like coming from a folk background, we we didn't think of her first in terms of what lane would make sense. But when Sasha turned to me, uh, we both already had concluded it. We should go with Ariana. But online people are like, oh, it's nice that his dad, his dad wanted to go with Kelly, but he let Sasha decide. No, 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 no. We were both set on Ariana and uh, we're so grateful for Kelly to Kelly Clarkson for having turned around. Well, thank you for explaining that further because it was very exciting to watch, especially Sasha's reaction and then Kelly's comments about that. But let's take it back to Team Ariana and tell me what it's been like working with her and Kristen Chenoweth, what you've learned so far, what you hope to learn. Yeah, working with Ariana and Kristen was, it was so amazing and getting feedback, getting feedback from both of them, it was like, even though it was an on-camera moment and part of the show, 
there was a lot that there there was so, it was such a lengthy session with them where we talked about so much and we got so much feedback and they've made it they made it so clear how much they cared about the performance they gave us um, notes and a lot of validation for what we had been doing and aside from their expertise Ariana and Kristen are both like the greatest of the great and so getting to work with them was totally amazing and not only are they not only are they both amazing musicians and singers, they're both just really fun people. So we had so much fun being in the studio with them, with the band. Um, they're like kind of the same person. They have like a very similar personality. They're both super bubbly and super funny and passionate about what they're doing. So we were totally psyched to, when we found out it was Kristen, we were very excited. And speaking <laughs> of mentors, you have, a, a there's a huge mega mentor coming up in the form of Ed Sheeran. What are yeah. your thoughts on um, working with him? I'm very excited to work with Ed because I've been an Ed Sheeran fan for a super, super long time. Um, probably one of my biggest inspirations in music, definitely one of my biggest inspirations with music, with songwriting. I've been into Ed Sheeran for a very long time. I've seen him live. Um, I've definitely just been a big fan and you as well have always liked mm. Ed Sheeran. We've always played Ed Sheeran in our house. So we're both very excited. How do you feel? Oh, totally. Of course, um, as the show unfolds, you'll see all of that that transpired. Uh, so um, we're looking forward to watching it uh, this coming Monday and Tuesday and to seeing our friends too interact with this incredible talent. Ed Sheeran is the voice of a generation. It's, I, I cannot wait. And it's been such a pleasure sharing a little piece of your journey with you, but we're wrapping up our happy hour, Sasha and Jim. I wanted to propose a toast to you and your continued success on The Voice. Thank you so Thank much, you. Hillary. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Yay, that's a high A. <laughs>